So based on this percentage growth scenario, we came up with this recursive model uh, for our growth. And let's see if now if we can come up with an explicit equation because this recursive equation, just like every recursive equation, is kind of hard to use to actually make calculations. And so let's go back to our specific scenario. So we said that P1 was going to be 1.10 times P0 zero based on our recursive equation. So likewise, P2 would be 1.10 times P1. But we know what P1 is, right? So let's go ahead and replace P1 with what we know it's equivalent to. P1 is 1.10 times P0. Now can we simplify this uh, at all? Why, yes, I can say 1.10 times 1.10 is 1.10 squared times P0. So now same idea, P3 is 1.10 times P2. But I know something about P2. I know that P2 is 1.10 squared times P0. Right, that was P2 is 1.10 squared times P0. And now 1.10 times 1.010 squared is 1.10 cubed times P0. And you can probably see the trend that's going to continue here. If I continue this down, in general, Pn is going to be 1.10 raised to the power of n times P0. And this is going to give me my explicit equation. So let's see if we can generalize off of this. So Pn is going to be, let's see here, where did this 1.10 come from? That was the 1 plus r, right? That's 1 plus r, where again, r is the growth rate, and that's a percentage growth rate, raised to the n power times P0. And this is the explicit equation for what's called exponential growth. And you can see now why it's called exponential growth. It's because the, in, in this type of equation, the variable is in the exponent, and hex, hence exponential, spell it right this time, uh, exponential growth. Now, notice this is different than something like a quadratic, like x squared, where the variable is in the base being raised to a numerical power. In this case, the variable is, in fact, in the exponent. Now we can go ahead and use this equation to make predictions. So, for example, if I wanted to predict the population, the population in, let's say, 20 years, I could figure out what p sub 20 is. That would be 1.10 to the 20 times the initial population of 1,000. Now, this is going to require me to calculate 1.10 to the 20th power, which, I mean, admittedly, I could do by multiplying 1.10 times itself 20 times, but that'd be really tedious. And so this is a good time to pull out our calculators. So many calculators, scientific calculators, will have some sort of button on them like x to the y or y to the x, or some just have a caret key. That's that vertical up bar thing. Uh, and so to evaluate this power, we'll say 1.10 raised to the power of 20. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit equals to figure out what that is. So that is 1.10 to the 20th. And now I'm going to multiply that by my P0, by my 1,000, gives me 6727 as my prediction. So that's 6727 approximately as the prediction for the population uh, in 20 years using this, this exponential growth model.